And joining me from Unknown Worlds is Charlie Cleveland. Charlie, Moonbreaker, it's real, and it's so different than Subnautica. So yes, tell us, it is. This departure, uh, you guys like to kind of reinvent yourselves every game, right? Yeah, so people thought we were kind of crazy for making Subnautica after making Natural Selection. We went from a strategy shooter to a pacifist underwater game, survival. Uh, so I feel like we've done this before. We, you know, we love changing genres. But I'm hoping you know our Subnautica fans will still come along for playing a digital miniatures game. I hope. Well, it's so cool, a digital miniatures game. Uh, everyone loves miniatures, but how do you translate that into gameplay? What is the gameplay of this game? So uh, we're kind of channeling like a Guardians of the Galaxy or Firefly kind of feel. So you can see that from the colorful art style we have. Um, so you choose a captain and ten crew, and you build a roster, kind of like a traditional miniatures game. And every unit in the game is really like strange and special and kind of game breaking. So um, yeah, you deploy units and you move them around on the battlefield and you get all these crazy game changing powers, kind of like Hearthstone meets XCOM, kind of. Well, it, I love, I mean, you see the gameplay here, it looks great and uh, it's coming soon, as we said, uh, in the September, so you're not early access, you're not going to wait long. But the thing I want to get to is the painting, painting of miniatures, which we saw a tease of in the trailer. And I know you actually, painting was cathartic for you sort of during the, the pandemic, right? Yeah, so the painting, I mean, you can't have a miniatures game without painting. And during the lockdown, I just found myself like learning to draw and just like just zoning out and feeling re really relaxed when the world was basically falling apart around us. And we really tried to capture that feeling. It, it's not like Photoshop or like special technical tools or anything like that. You, we just simulate washes, dry brushing. We've got decals. Um, this feels like you're actually painting a real miniature. And I have to say, because everyone's surprised by it, like all the miniatures you see painted in the game are all painted with the tool. Wow. So it's like actually pretty powerful. Amazing. Well, it's so cool that uh, you're revealing it here and it's, gonna, it's playable at Gamescom, right? It is. It's here. You guys are the first ones to play it. Wow. And uh, oh, yeah, it's more. <laughs> We're over in the Crafton booth. Okay. Crafton booth. And for everyone else around the world, they're not yes. going to wait long, right? Yes, we'll be on Steam Playtest in September. Yeah. We have a couple open weekends, and then we're going to be launching um, into Steam Early Access September 29th. So it's wow. really close. Only a month away, Moonbreaker. Charlie, thank you so much for Thanks. coming all the way out here. Thank you. To, uh, I know you had a tough time. My pleasure. Here, but you thank made you, everyone. It. All right, Charlie Cleveland, with Unknown Worlds. Thank you so much, Charlie. And now it's time to reveal another game.